From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I am your host Pratiksha Mishra and today in our episode of My India, we will offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity and the developments happening in and around the world. India is a land of rich, vibrant culture where people of diverse faiths live in harmony. At recently concluded G20 summit, India showcased its diversity in culture, craft and food to the guests gathered from the world over. Take a look. The world leaders were greeted with colorful and vibrant scenes as they landed for the G20 summit in New Delhi. Folk and classical dances were performed at the airport to make the leaders understand the rich and traditional culture of the country. The iconic Bharat Mandapam, which was the venue for the G20 summit, remained the center of attraction. The convention center is inspired by Indian traditions and represents different parts of the country. The Mandapam was decked up with handloom specializations and handicraft stalls to give the international delegates a taste of India's rich and diverse culture. The craftsmen also showcased a live demonstrations of India's cultural heritage at the venue. We are representing Kerala state uh, to this craft bazaar and we exhibit our tradition and culture in this craft bazaar as we as you can see that our about 100 of products we have displayed here and of this 100 of products uh, we symbolizes our festival our culture and our seasons jo pattern mein wohi 900 saal purani technique se patola banta hai aur ek saree ko banne mein 7 se 8 mahina lagta hai ye pura saree jo hai wo totally handmade saree hai aur silk pe banta hai sanskrit mein isko cheer bolte hai to ye pura hum log ye yahan pe display karne ke liye aaye aur ye pura ek vegetable dye mein humne vintage collection pura banaya hua hai jo uska dupatta hai sarees hai jo videshi mehman aayenge unki vibes ke liye hum log dikhane ke liye ye laaye the Crafts Bazaar featured 30 stalls selling items such as Thanjavur paintings, Telia cloth and Dokra metalwork. The exhibition allowed G20 summit attendees to purchase handicrafts with historical and economic significance to India. The bazaar focuses on products identified under the government's One District One Product scheme which aims to promote specific items from each district. GI authentic trademark pashmina so that they can take it back for their guests or for their families as a souvenir. Uh, it has the GI tagging of Kashmir Pash, uh, pashmina by the Craft Council of India which provides the authenticity of the fabric. Also along with it uh, to make it more enhancing for them we have designed this beautiful pastel colors with some beautiful pastel embroidery. During India's G20 presidency, over 200 events were held across every Indian state and union territory throughout the year. The delegates from G20 member states not only discussed global issues but explored India's religious diversity, culture and food. Moving on, India narrates yet another story of peace and harmony cultivated in society for ages in the view of the G20 summit under India's presidency. Bidri craftsmen express their joy upon getting their traditional artifacts recognized through various exhibitions. The event also called attention to the brotherhood fostered among the Hindu and Muslim artisans for centuries in Karnataka's Bida. Have a glance. India, often known for its rich cultural heritage, is also ingrained with age-old treasuries of magnificent handicraft products that have passed on for generations and have now become a matter of national pride. The Bidri craft of Karnataka is one of the art forms that has gained global recognition for its exceptional craftsmanship involved in transforming zinc and copper alloy into a piece of wonder. Bidri ware, also called Bidri craft, requires high-level skill and craftsmanship involving the hammering of silver intricately onto handmade designs engraved on a mold of zinc copper alloy. 
The 5th century old traditional handicraft date back to the 14th century common era and developed over time during the rule of Bahabani Sultan. The eccentric craftsmanship is influenced by Persian art and was brought to India by Sufi saint Khwaja Moinuddin Hasan Chishti in the form of utensils. The Bidri artisans, despite reaching the global market, never gained much popularity. However, the recently held G20 summit in India's New Delhi provided them with a platform through exhibitions to showcase their creativity to the world. The occasion also brought into light a story about how Hindu and Muslim artisans are working together in harmony to preserve their cultural heritage and national pride. I have been working for 15 years with Bidri work and in the G20 summit in Delhi, उधर अपना बिद्री का आइटम दे रहे हैं वो सभी बाहर के प्रधानमंत्रियों को वो देने से हम सभी आर्टिजन को बहुत खुशी हो रहा है और फ्रॉड फील हो रहा है। For generations, the artisans have worked together without discrimination, understanding each other's sentiments and meeting demands on time, all in an effort to glorify their age-old tradition. Bidriwe items are typically depictions of Islamic calligraphy and are used for decorative items like boxes, trays, utensils and jewellery. The craft is a zinc and copper alloy. First, we have to sand casting, after that, we have to smooth the file. Then, we have to add the imaginary design with steel chisels. After that, we have to add the imaginary design. हैमर और चीजल से इसकी खुदाई करते हैं, फिर उसके बाद चीजल और हैमर से सिल्वर इनले करते हैं, इसके बाद फिर स्मूथ फाइल से इसको स्मूथ करते हैं, सैंडपेपर लगाते हैं, फिर बफिंग करने के बाद ये आइटम बिल्कुल व्हाइट हो जाता है, स्टेनलेस स्टील जैसा, जिंक भी व्हाइट होता है, सिल्वर भी व्हाइट होता बीदर के खिले में खास किस्म की मिट्टी मिलती है जिसमें नेचुरल केमिकल्स होता हो वो मिट्टी के छह भाग एक भाग अमोनियम क्लोराइड का लेके इसका सॉल्यूशन बना के बॉईल करते हैं बॉईल करने से ये आइटम उसमें डालने से जिंक पोर्शन ब्लैक हो जाता है सिल्वर वैसी व्हाइट होता है फिर इसको नारियल तेल लगा के चमका देते हैं इसी को बिजली वर्क बोलते हैं दिस इज मेली वन सच एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द गंगा जमुनी तहजीब ऑफ आर इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया वे टू डिफरेंट रिलीजियस एंड कल्चरल आइडेंटिटीज वर्क टूगेदर इन नर्चरिंग अंस ऑफ ब्रदरहुड एंड हार्मोनी अमंग दम India is a white canvas where colors of different religions, cultures and traditions have distinctively marked their presence but all in union and harmony with each other. And now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. After the historic success of Chandrayaan-3 and Aditya L1 missions, ISRO continuing its space odyssey and is all set to launch the Gaganyaan-1 project. CTTC Bhuvaneshwar has almost completed the manufacturing of precision tools and components for the project. CTTC Bhuvaneshwar also manufactured a large number of precision tools and components for the Chandrayaan-3. With never rest attitude, ISRO is continuing to show its prowess in the space sector. For the Gaganyaan-1, a team of more than 120 engineers and technicians manufactured the component for the mission. A two-day unique exhibition attracted people, including youths, towards art in Srinagar. The exhibition was titled Reflection, organized by the Second Lives Art Guild at the City Mall. It was inaugurated by the Secretary of Tourism and Culture, Sayyid Abed Rashid Shah. The concept of the exhibition was to educate people, especially the youths, about the importance of art. All the paintings created by self-taught artists were installed in the exhibition. Their paintings were related to art, culture, heritage and environment. These types of exhibitions attracted the young generation towards art and gave them a platform to show their talent and promote art. Any kind of art has its own importance and that's why such types of exhibitions are always getting good response from the art lovers. Such types of exhibitions should be continued in the future to make people aware of the importance of art.
The aquarium tunnel mesmerizes marine life lovers as it debuts in India's northern Chandigarh city, showcasing hundreds of varieties of fishes. More than 250 species of fish with some rare types have been brought to the aquarium tunnel, which is winning the hearts of the locals who are coming to visit. बहुत सारी फिशेस हैं नई नई तरह की हमें खुद भी नहीं इतनी फिशेस की वैरायटीज पता थी जैसे टेट्राविडोज होगी ग्लास कलर ग्लास हो गई ये बहुत मतलब नई वैरायटीज हमें देखने को मिल रही है टोटल हमारे पास यहां पर इस टाइम सवा दो लाख मछलियां हैं जिसमें हम 75 एक्वेरियम है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट तरह के और ये जितनी भी ये हमारे पास इंडिया की सबसे बड़ी लार्जेस्ट टनल है 180 फीट People, especially young visitors, were in awe as they learned about various fishes like tetra widow, red cap, color glass fish, and more. Let's move to Punch in Jammu and Kashmir, where the Sikh and Muslim organizations have joined hands to provide assistance to patients suffering from tuberculosis. The patients will be provided free of cost nutrition kits with the aim to fulfill the government's aim to eradicate the deadly disease that spreads from person to person through the air. These youngsters are carrying out an awareness rally in the Punch district of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir as a part of the National TB Elimination Program. Tuberculosis TB is a disease caused by germs that are spread from person to person through the air. It usually affects the lungs, but it can also affect other parts of the body, such as the brain, the kidneys or the spine. A person with TB can die if they do not get an early treatment. To fulfill the government's aim to eradicate the disease, the District Gurdwara Prabandhak Committee and Muslims of Zia Ul Uloom School of Education stepped forward to provide the extensive support to the patients suffering from tuberculosis. गवर्नमेंट अपनी तरफ से हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट अपनी तरफ से तो सब कुछ कर रहा है लेकिन एज ए कम्युनिटी हमारा भी फर्ज बनता है कि उनकी सपोर्ट करें उनको आगे आकर उनकी सहायता करें इसी कंटेस्ट में हमारे इदारा जामिया जियालूम ने 10 जो ऐसे पेशेंट्स से टीबी के उनको अडॉप्ट किया है उनको राशन किट्स दी गई हैं और हम कोशिश करेंगे कि आगे भी इसको कंटिन्यू करें ट्यूबरक्लोसिस डिजीज कैन बी ट्रीटेड थ्रू प्रॉपर मेडिकेशन एंड न्यूट्रिशियस फूड the initiative by the religious and educational organizations will help eradicate tuberculosis under the National Tuberculosis Control Program. This clearly reflects how people of diverse faiths stand united to fight against any syndrome that affects mankind. I want to say that every person has a fear that the patients have been adopted and adopted Poonch district is a remote border area where the people living in the far-flung and rural areas have fewer facilities. The initiative by religious and educational institutions to eradicate tuberculosis will benefit not only the patients but the government in reaching out to needy people. India has many such examples where people of diverse faiths are united to serve mankind. And now, some of the major stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. From Zorth's swan dress to Harry Styles trousers, looks created by young designers go on show this week in a new London exhibition celebrating emerging fashion talent. Rebel, 30 years of London fashion, features more than 100 looks from the debut and early collections by designers including the late Alexander McQueen, Christopher Kane, Molly Goddard and Simone Rocha among others. The exhibition which opens at the Design Museum was put together to celebrate 30 years of the British Fashion Council's New Gen program which provides financial support and mentoring for emerging designers. This exhibition is about 30 years of young London fashion through the lens of uh, the British Fashion Council's New Gen um, scheme which has, has supported young designers in their first steps since 1993. 
Among the outfits on display is the swan dress by designer Marian Pioski, which Zork wore on 2001 Oscars, as well as the Harry Latex suit worn by singer Sam Smith in the 2023 Brit Awards. Also on the show is a pair of trousers by designer Steven Stocky Dali worn by Harry Styles in his Golden Music video. One example of that is the brand Aluwalia which seeks to use vintage and surplus materials. The Freeze Art Fair returned to South Korea for the second year with dealers hoping the event will boost the burgeoning local art market after economic woes triggered a slump in sales this year. Art buyers flocked to Seoul's COEX Convention Center to see cutting-edge works by emerging artists and works from more than 120 of the world's leading galleries with a strong core of local exhibitors showcasing art from across Asia. It includes offerings from established galleries such as Gallery Hyundai, Kukie and Ghana. More than 70,000 people visited the fair last year when South Korea's art market reached a landmark $750.85 million won in revenue, according to data from the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism. Brazenness and originality are just two of the words that describe hip-hop fashion. This year marks 50 years since the industry was born, creating a global culture that includes music, dance, fashion and more. Earlier this year, the museum at FIT celebrated hip-hop fashion with an exhibition titled Fresh, Fly and Fabulous 50 Years of Hip-Hop Style. Pieces included dookie chains, door knocker earrings and looks from the past and present. Experts describe hip-hop fashion as focusing more on where you are going and not where you are from. Costume designer and creative director June Ambrose said it has never been about just the clothes. Hip-hop fashion is defined by, I, I believe, its brazenness, its originality, its verbal symphony. You know, hip-hop is, is poetry. Ambrose is responsible for creating some of the most iconic costumes in many hip-hop music videos in the 1990s. After five decades, it is thought that luxury and fast fashion brands recognize hip-hop's influence and no longer just want to be inspired by it, but rather collaborate in obvious ways. Fashion insiders expect to continue see reference on runways including during New York Fashion Week which will run from September 8 to 13 where American designers will showcase their latest collections. And lastly, we take you to the beautiful city of Bhubaneswar in Odisha to witness a mesmerizing celebration of a spectacular event, the Guru Kelucharan Mohopatra Dance Festival. This festival typically features performances by some of the most accomplished Odissi dancers from India and across the world. This festival is not only a tribute to the legendary Guru Kelucharan Mohopatra, but also a platform for talented dancers to showcase their artistry. Have a look. Odisha is well known as a land of tribes and every tribe has its distinct song and significant dance form. The Uriya music forms a part of Indian classical music. The dance forms of Odisha are among the most famous cultural dances across the country. 
The classical dance Odissi holds the closest resemblance to temple sculpture than the other existing varieties of dance. The iconic Odissi dance institution, Srajan Guru Kelucharan Mohapatra Odissi Nritte Basa, continues to host its flagship annual classical dance and music festival in memory of Guru Kelucharan Mohapatra. Its aim is to create awareness and sustain the classical tradition of Odissi dance and music. The 29th edition of the Guru Kelucharan Mohapatra Dance and Award Ceremony was organized by Srijan at Rabindra Mandap in Bhubaneswar. I'm very lucky to be here this, at this time to be able to visit this festival. The coveted award ceremony hosted four evenings featuring the finest dance and music performances with a focus on the best possible mashup of artists and genres. The festival witnessed solo dance performances accompanied by a live orchestra in the first half of each evening, followed by music recitals in the second half. The program commenced with a solo Kathak dance recital by Sheila Mehta renowned Kathak exponent of the Lucknow Gharana. Her recital comprised three eclectic and beautiful dance presentations that stayed true to the intricacy of her Gharana. This is a dham yatra ki tarah hai. हम सिर्फ नहीं हैं बहुत जन आर्टिस्ट को यहाँ पर परफॉर्म करने का क्योंकि ये एक तरीके से जब ये ऐसे लेजेंडरी गुरु जो आज नहीं होते हुए भी उसकी प्रेजेंस बहुत है गहरी प्रेजेंस है और सिर्फ भुवनेश्वर में है ऐसा नहीं है मैं मुंबई में हूँ मैं यूएसए में भी रहती हूँ मेरे सेंटर यूरोप में भी है गुरु जी का नाम चारों तरफ है तो ऐसे फेस्टिवल करने से हम गुरुजी को याद करते हैं और यहाँ आके मुझे लगता है कि एक बहुत ऐसे देर आर नो वर्ड्स टू से हाउ नाइस वी फील अबाउट इट The event was attended both physically and virtually by several dignitaries, influential citizens, luminaries from the world of art and audiences from across India and abroad. The entire festival was curated, conceptualized and designed by Guru Ratikant Mohapatra and the program was well executed by Sri Devi Prasad Mishra. In this new era, the annual event forges a bridge between academia and performing arts and provides the state audience with exposure to the best classical music as well. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia@anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.